Hello there! Today I'm gonna show you how you can use INF data file along with the video you captured to create cool video full of overlaid dials and gauges. I'm using free software called Deathware. The tutorial will be split into two part videos. For the first part, we're going to learn how to prepare INF black box log file so Deathware can read it. We will also learn how to merge the video and the INF log file inside Deathware so we can add custom dials and gauges to show flight parameters along the video. You need to download all necessary files as follows. First, Deathware software itself. Second, Blackbox decoder to decode Blackbox log file to CSV format. Third, custom data type. Fourth, custom data profile. Both files are customized to decode it in a slot file, so that's where knows how to read it. Fifth, gauge widget. This is my custom gauge widget, but you can make your own after watching video part two. Sixth, Excel macro. Not all parameters we want to show can be extracted directly from INF black box, such as distance, etc. It requires further math calculation out of GPS coordinates. So the macro makes all routine yet extensive calculation much easier. All necessary files can be downloaded from the link in the video description below. Without further talking, let's begin. First, extract, then open the files folder I give you. Install Deathware like you would install any other application. From the HDOST folder, you'll find two files, custom data type and my INAP. Both are custom data type and custom data profile. Now, Find where the desk were being installed in your computer. Copy custom data type file to folder desk were slash settings. and my INF to folder deathware slash data profiles. Next step, after you install deathware and copy all necessary files to a folder, we have to prepare the log file for deathware in order to be able to read it. I'm going to use the log file I already rename it to install. You can name your file whatever you like. Copy it to black box decoder folder. Now open command prompt and locate the black box decoder application folder. In my case, it's directory D. Then open CD soft. Then go into CD black box decoder. Now we begin with decoding process. Pay attention to the format. Blackbox underscore decode space hyphen hyphen merge hyphen GPS space the name of the log file. In my case, tipstall.txt and hit enter. Now you see black box decoder produced four files. What we need for this application is the CSV file. Now I'll copy the CSV file back to its original folder, just for the sake of tidiness. But you can keep the file wherever you like. As I mentioned previously, not all the parameter that we want to show in Deathware gates can be extracted directly from the log file. Parameters such as home distance, travel distance, 
Max amperage, max this, max that, only can be obtained through further math calculation. So the next step before we can solve such parameter on desware, we must apply the macro on the file to do the extensive calculations. This macro was tailored for parameters that I need for my gauge to sew. Hence, if you need other parameters to sew to your desk widget, you need to create your own macro or edit this macro to suit your need. Now let's open the file. Place the active cell to the top left corner. And then open developer tab. Choose the macro and hit run. Wait for a moment until it finishes its job. The yellow part was the part that have been added automatically by the macro. Every time you run the macro to a log file, you must check whether your macro result rows less or exceed the log file rows. It will never be met because the flight data recorder always vary. In this case, my macro produced less rows than the log file, so I have to copy the macro from EULA to the rest of the rows to match the length of the log file. In opposite scenario, then I'll have to delete those excess rows to match the length of the log file. After that, save the file and you can proceed to the next step. Now it's the time for us to merge all the things inside the desware. Let's open desware. Now we create new project or you can open existing project if any. Here I create new project and I will name it Tipstall. Then choose the template for the layout. I usually use GoPro template metric. Then click OK. Now, this is the default GoPro layout. I'll delete some of the widget because it requires data that not compatible with INF black box, so it will show nothing. Speed graphic actually works, but I prefer not to use it, so I'll delete it as well. Now we choose the video that we want to use. I use tip stop. Then the data will choose the CSV that have been processed with the macro. The data profile to choose is the one that I've provided, which is my INF. Click Add. Please wait a moment until the tracking map zone. There it is. That means that the log data have been loaded completely and that's where can read it. But in this stage, the video and the log data haven't been synchronized. You see that when we play the log data, the video freeze. And when we play the video, the widget that represents the log data freeze too. It means that we have to synchronize them first. The tool I use to help me synchronize both of them is my custom widget that shows the throttle output. We go to the gates toolbox and choose my efficiency widget. Okay, let's put it here. This widget is an easy tool for me to synchronize between the video and the log file. Because I use INF auto launch on my every flight, I can match my auto launch throttle from the widget, which is 1700 to the sound of the motor in the video when it's pitch up to reach Autolon's throttle. You can use your own method to mark the certain point in the video 
to match with the log data. For example, you can zero the throttle when your plane is up and stable in the air. Therefore, you can use throttle output zero from the widget to match the point in the video when the motor sound ceases as a synchronized point. Now let's try to match my throttle output in the widget and the motor sound in the video as a synchronized point. First, play the data log file until the throttle widget here reaches 1700 as my launch throttle. Let's refine it. Okay. Then play the video until the sound of the motor pitch up that indicates it reached the launch throttle. Okay, try that point. Sing with video. Play from the beginning. the log data left behind several frame so we have to move it forward sing again play from beginning still behind several clicks Sing again, play from beginning, I think that's perfect. Now that your video and the data log file have been synchronized, you can add another widgets, gauges or indicators as you like. I'll put my other custom widget to the layout. Of course, you can make your own widgets, gauges, and flight indicators, and that will be covered in the video part 2. That's all for the first part. If you find this tutorial useful, please subscribe and hit like. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and stay safe.